gone wild and destroying crops, eating up farmers' profits. Tonight at 11, 10 Central, Auburn University researchers may have come up with a solution for the pesky pigs. Don't miss our special report. Covering western Georgia and east Alabama, this is WRBL News 3 Night Watch. This is News 3 Night Watch. I'm Phil Scoggins. And I'm Teresa Whitaker. A growing plague of wild pigs is becoming a real pain for people across Alabama and Georgia, especially those whose livelihood depends on crops and livestock. News 3's Brandis Hudson is on your side. In a special report, she gives us a look inside a lab where researchers are working to get a grip on pigs gone wild. You can't do anything but be mad, but then you try to get even with them. When farmer Charlie Speak is fast asleep, no doubt dreaming of plentiful harvesting ahead, there's a bump in the night, then a shuffle and a snort. They're very smart, very good sense of smell, and uh, they're hard to do anything about. And, and they multiply so bad, so fast. Wild hogs are feasting on his fields and others throughout Alabama and Georgia, leaving behind eat, hook prints and, and plenty of crop damage. And this is part of the problem that's frustrating Farmer Speaks. The pigs are invading his fields at night, pulling up seeds before they can take root. The wild pig problem is plaguing landowners across Alabama and at least 43 other states. Researchers say they pose a threat to agricultural efforts. They cause more than one and a half billion dollars in property damage nationally and have the potential of spreading disease to people and livestock. There are an estimated four million wild hogs nationwide and the number continues to rise. They've really gotten a lot worse. They've spread to areas that we hadn't had hogs before. A new method for controlling the pig population is in the making at Auburn University. We have preliminary data to indicate that we are on the right path. Researchers are taking aim at the animal's reproduction, working to develop an inexpensive oral contraceptive vaccine that would block fertility. Here at the College of Veterinary Medicine and with our colleagues in the School of Forestry and Wildlife Sciences, uh, we are using tools of molecular biology in order to uh, advance a new uh, vaccine that would be a species or pig specific contraceptive approach. Researchers say in lab testing, the most promising technique triggered antibodies that would interfere with sperm delivery. The contraceptive would be environmentally safe and only affect pigs. Rod Pinkston is a well-known hog control expert and owner of Jaeger Pro in Columbus. He relies heavily on military technology and tracking and killing pigs. Our goal is 100% success. If we've got 25 hogs that's coming into this field, our goal is to kill all, uh, all 25. Pinkston says there is no end-all answer to the problem, but success can be achieved through the use of various methods and strategy. Everybody in the United States that has a hog control problem, it has to be part of the tools that they use. I, I hope that the, the sodium nitrite is tested and approved. I hope the bait contraception is tested and approved. We got to teach people to be more efficient in trapping more efficient in shooting. And while the contraception is still being developed, farmers continue to use methods at hand. Jaeger Pro recently trapped and killed more than 30 pigs in one night on Speaks Farm. But if the contraceptive is ever approved... I'd, I'd be wanting to buy some stock in it. I think it'll go. If it's reasonably priced and we'll do what they say it'll do, uh, I think it'll be in high demand. It'll be first in line? Yes. yes. I'm Brandis Hudson, WRBL News 3 on your side. During the next phases of the study, researchers will hone in deciding which bait would be most attractive to the hogs and begin extensive product testing in the field. For more information about Auburn's efforts or local hog hunter Rod Pinkston, visit WRBL.com and click on this story. First edition, I'm Sarah Fago. A growing plague of wild pigs is becoming a real pain for people across Alabama and Georgia. In a News 3 special report this week, we gave you a look inside a lab where researchers are working to get a grip on pigs gone wild. Joining me now, Dr. Frank Bartol, Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Studies at Auburn University's College of Veterinarian Medicine. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank I really appreciate it. So I watched the story and I have to say, uh, you know, you're developing uh, an inexpensive oral contraception 
receptive vaccine that would block fertility and it would only affect pigs. And I get that. But what I don't get is how you're going to administer that to pigs. How are you going to get them to take it? That's a very good question. Uh, this is something that is in the early stages of development. The vaccine is being developed, as you mentioned, for possible oral administration, uh, possibly in the form of a bait or something of that nature, and mm -hmm. also for possible nasal uh, administration. And exactly how we'll do that uh, is a bit down the road from where we are right now. Yeah, I understand. It's in preliminary research uh, beginning stages. So how did this, uh, you talked to me earlier before the show, this actually came about uh, from researchers who were initially studying all of those stray dogs and stray cats. Tell me a little bit about that. That's right. Well, you probably know that, that stray dogs and stray cats or feral animals yep. uh, are a big problem. They pose a public health risk all around the country and the world. At the College of Veterinary Medicine at Auburn University, we have the Scott Ritchie Research Center. And researchers there, uh, led by Dr. Henry Baker and others, uh, have been interested in trying to solve this very, very challenging problem for some time. And it was out of the interest and the necessity of developing a strategy to control feral dogs and cats that uh, when we were faced with this serious wild pig problem that the same technology or similar technologies were focused on this problem. Great. So maybe down the road it might be administered to not only pigs but dogs and cats. Again, in the particular technology we're talking about today, it would be would have to be focused for the particular target. So that we're working on a pig-specific anti-fertility mm -hmm. uh, vaccine. Uh, and similarly, we could develop a, a, a dog or cat specific vaccine with this type of technology. And that kind of prompts my question. A viewer called in, I think after that, our special aired, and she asked, you know, a lot of hunters like to eat these pigs right. that they go out and they hunt and they mm -hmm. catch. Uh, but like you said, this uh, oral contraceptive is only for pigs. It will not have any adverse side effects for any other species and humans. Right. The species specific nature of the targeted vaccine is, is essential to its uh, utility in the field. Mm -hmm. I'll point out though that wild pigs do bear diseases that not only affect other pigs but people too. And while I appreciate that hunters hunt for purposes of, of, of eating that meat, people should be careful about that sort of thing because the, the meat is not always safe. Okay. Well I appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me here today.